Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Facebook ad series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll show you how to create Facebook pixel for purchase event. So without any further delay, let's see how you can do it. Okay, so we'll be setting up Facebook purchase event for this website. So if a user come to this site and select one of the products, for example, I'm gonna choose this one. Add this product to the cart. Click on view cart buttons. And check out this product and add all the necessary billing informations like first name, last name, country, street address, town, district, postcode, phone number, email address and click on place order. Then go to the thank you page or order confirmation page and to track purchase event. You can see over here. Okay, so let's see how we can do it. So you can see over here, I have created a tag manager account with the website name called e-commerce analytical growth. And I have created these events in the previous videos. Like in the previous videos, I have shown you how to create Facebook base pixel, Facebook add to cart event, Facebook uh, view content event, Facebook view cart event. And in the latest video, I have shown you how to create Facebook pixel for begin checkout event. Okay, so first of all, I need to create all the necessary variables, then I'll create all the triggers and at last I'll create the necessary tags. Okay, so if I click on variables and before creating variables, we'll go to the data layer section. Okay, perfect. So if I go to the data layer section, you can see this is our purchase event. So if I go to the data layer portion, then you can see the data layer schema for purchase event. So this is the data layer schema. So this is the items actually. So I have purchased a single item. That's why it is showing like that. So if I go to the begin checkout, then you will see the items is exactly similar as purchase event. So if I create any data layer variables for begin checkout event, then I don't need to create additional uh, events for purchase event because the data layer schema is same, okay? So, and begin checkout, purchase, and view cut. These are the four, these are the three, in fact, uh, events. Their data layer schemas are same. So if I create any variables for view cards, then I don't need to create additional variables for begin checkout and purchase, okay? Perfect. So if I try to show you how I create, how I created uh, data layer variables or custom JavaScript variable for begin checkout event and view cut event. So you can see over here. So if I go to the translate section, then the event name would be purchase, content type is product, Content name would be used as multiple array content name. So if I click on it, then you will see this is the custom Java script variable for content names. And this is for the multiple arrays, you know. And if I click on multiple array product ID, then you can see over here. So this is the uh, whole code for multiple array product IDs. So I have shown you how to create uh, this variable in uh, view cut event creation. So if you haven't my video of how to create Facebook pixel for view cut event, then I would suggest you to watch the video first and create all the necessary variables. And one additional variable I need to create uh, for purchase event, which is order ID, okay? So I'm gonna go to the user defined variable section and click on new and name it as 
DL way order ID or transaction ID. I might write transaction ID because order ID will be used as transaction ID. Okay. So I'm going to click on variable configuration and choose data layer variable from here. And if I go to the tag assistant in the purchase event, I'll get transaction ID from here. So I'm going to copy. First of all, I need to copy e-commerce from here. Okay. So if I scroll down a little bit, then I'll get e-commerce from here. So I'm going to copy e-commerce from here. And as transaction ID is inside e-commerce objects, then that's why I need to put dot over here. Then if I scroll down a little, then I will get transaction ID. Then I'm going to copy it from here and paste it over here. Okay, perfect. Then I'll go to the trigger section and create a trigger for purchase event. Okay, perfect. I'm going to click on new and name the trigger as purchase trigger. And I'll choose trigger configuration as custom event. And I'm going to go to the tag assistant. And if I select purchase event, and then you will see the event name is purchase. So I'm going to copy purchase from here. Make sure you're copying the exact naming sequence from here. Okay. So I'm going to paste purchase over here and click on save. Then I'll go to the tag section and I'm going to click on new. And name the tag as Facebook purchase tag. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to choose tag configuration as Facebook pixel. And I'm going to choose Facebook pixel ID over here. So I have created a data, uh, not data layer, constant variable for Facebook pixel. So I'm going to choose it from here. And from the standard section, I'm going to choose purchase from here. And in the object property, I'm going to choose some property name and their values. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to be collecting them from the translate section. So the first property name would be event name. Then I'm going to be using content type. Then the next property name would be content name. Then I'm going to be using content ID as property name. Next one, I'm going to be using as value. Then I'm going to be using currency as one of our property names. And the last property name I'm going to be using is order ID. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to provide their values as well. So the event name would be purchase. Okay. Then the content type would be product. So I'm going to copy product from here. And as the content name, I'm going to be using multiple uh, custom JavaScript array. So I'm going to click on it. And you can see over here, multiple array content name. This one will be used as content name. And as content IDs, I'm going to be using this on multiple array product IDs. And as the value, I have created a data layer variable for e-commerce value. So I'm going to be using this one. And previously, I had created a data layer variable for item currency. So I'm going to be choosing this one from here. And order ID will be used as transaction ID. So I have created a data layer variable for transaction ID. So I'm going to be choosing this one. And as the triggering, I'm going to be using purchase trigger. Okay, perfect. I'll click on save. So we have created a tag for Facebook purchase event. So let's see whether it is working or not. So for checking, I'm going to click on preview section. And I'll click on connect. Then I'm going to be choosing, for example, this product. I'll view this product. Then I'm going to click on Add to Cart button. 
I'll click on view cut button as well. And I'm gonna click checkout button. And I'll be providing all the necessary informations like billing address, okay? And click on place order. Then you can see over here, thank you, your order has been received. So if I go to the tag assistance section, then you'll be able to see Facebook purchase tag has fired one time. And if I go to the purchase event and click on variable section, then you can see over here. So this is the e-commerce item array. Uh, so I have purchased one product. That's why it is showing one array and item currency, USD, item ID, item name, multiple array content name dnk blue shoes so if i go to the purchase products so uh, the name of the product dnk blue shoes okay then the item value is 200 dollars so if i go to the purchase value then you can see the product value is 200 dollar and yeah, so everything is working fine. Everything is working properly. So this is how we can track our purchase event for Facebook, you know. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you have liked our video. If you like our video, then you can subscribe our channel, follow our page. You have a good day. Bye-bye.